Hey everyone, I'm Max from another video, and today you are probably clicking this video to know if the Canon EOS 600D is still worth getting. Now this is a fantastic camera and currently on the camera I have the 55mm lens, which is very useful. Now I've been using this camera for a long time, mostly for photography for the one place I go to for CrossFit, which is Mercury CrossFit, so a bit of a shout out there. But I'm going to go through the things you need to know about this camera, the settings, my recommendations for this camera and all the things you need to know. So let's get started. So this camera is actually quite a very useful camera, I'll definitely say so. Now I'm going to obviously do a bit of a, more of a b-roll shot for this, but you do have a lot of functions with the buttons. So you have the menu, info, you have your main screen, your record button, which I will show the recording quality and also the built-in mic quality. But you also you can view your previous photos you've taken, you can delete photos and do presets and so much more. And even do some things with the photography side if you want to change the quality from like a raw to, you know, almost base quality you can get with this camera basically. Because this camera is a very old camera. <laughs> I'm showing you off the lenses that I got with this camera is actually not bad. So obviously, like I said, I have the 55mm lens, which I use most of the time for photography at Mercury CrossFit for the action shots, which I'll maybe show photos of, but legal reasons I might not. But then I also have the 75 to 300 millimeter lens, which is very useful. And I actually got a lot of good shots of this, including a photo of the moons, which I will display of course. Now these lenses are included, but also I'm not sure if you can get the camera anymore. That's you know, brand new, but you can still get the camera depending on what you look at. But you might get these included with a camera bag, which I might show, but <laughs> the camera bag is a simple camera bag. But these lenses are very useful and I enjoy them a lot. Definitely tested these out quite a bit and still getting used to these lenses. Now going into the things you need to know with this camera, with the ports, you do in fact have a AV out digital port. You even have an HDMI out port, which also if you want to display the photos, on a big screen, you can, or you have a monitor for recording purposes. You could probably do that as well with this camera. You do obviously have your SD card slot, which obviously is to store your photos and videos. But then you have a simple battery. It's, I'll definitely say the battery life is decent enough for at least three or so days of photography and then charge it. So you, you can use this for three days straight without charging it, depending on if you do constant photos. If you do constant video photos, you could probably only do it maybe one day before charging or two days before charging. Now, obviously, most cameras have this, but obviously I'm gonna show it anyways. You can actually flip the screen over to show it. Now you can see the battery is very low because I haven't charged it yet, but I have used, been using it quite a bit. Otherwise, that's the things you need to know about this camera. It's a very good camera. I'll definitely say it's still worth getting, especially now in 2020. Two or even 2023 because obviously the, the year is almost finished so but this camera is still worth getting i'll say you can probably get around about 8,000 rand or so which is actually not too bad for this camera or even 5,000 rand if you get on the second hand side now this camera is good with photography i'll definitely say so i mean i have amazing shots with this camera and i love using this camera it's very useful but obviously as I get further in the photography side and videography side, I'll maybe upgrade. But for now, this camera is good for photography and I'll definitely recommend people to go for this camera because first of all, this camera did have uh, what, not only a uh, reward for being the best camera of the year, but is recommended by Casey and Eistat as well. So that's all you need to know about this camera. But let me know in the comments below, would you get this camera or do you recommend a different camera? for other photographers to get started with. But last, I hope you guys enjoyed Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Be safe. And I hope you all have a good day. Bye.